Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be going over some foods you should be avoiding to prevent eczema breakouts. I went to the naturopath last week to get my blood tested because I wanted to see what causes my seasonal allergies, make sure that I'm getting all the nutrients I've been needing on a plant-based diet, and just to figure out what causes my eczema flare-ups. So this is what I got back from the naturopath. On this day, I ended up eating some cucumbers marinated with some tahine and Johnny seasoning and citrus. All of that's okay except for the citrus. According to the nature path, you should be avoiding anything with citrus. Again, I'll put this all down below for you guys in a blog post so you guys can see that if you're missing anything. And does anybody have seasonal allergies? Like seriously, it sucks. Within the last two years, it's gotten bad. I've never had that before. For dinner, we ended up grilling up some mushrooms. Ryan, of course, grilled up all his other stuff. But mushrooms are fine, but I personally like to marinate my mushrooms in soy sauce. You should be avoiding anything that has soy in it if you have eczema because according to the naturopath, it causes eczema breakouts. So I had it with some punset fried rice and I picked out the meat in it and then I also put it in a wrap. Um, some research I found says no popcorn but the naturopath never said that. And then I also had this Asian chopped salad from Costco. Everything in it, the salad and the, the salad dressing is good, but I think the little croutons in there has wheat and you should be specifically avoiding anything with wheat gliadin um, and that's what causes some of your eczema breakouts according to my nature path. And I also had some edamame, which is another source of soy that I should be avoiding, but something is so good and satisfying about eating edamame. Then we also had some rice cakes. Um, rice cakes are, are fine, but you want to try and stick to a whole foods plant-based diet as much as possible just because you want to stay away from those processed foods. You never know what's in them. And you can eat all the apples you want. Eat them all. This is the Honeycrisp apple, my favorite. And uh, yeah, then I ended the night with some of these dumplings. They had soy in it, so yeah, another thing you should be avoiding. But yeah, this is what I ate, and I hope you guys have a good one. You guys know the drill, and I'll see you next week.